Turtle fans, welcome back. I'm Tom. Shane. We are Third Street Reactions, and this is TMNT Season 3, Episode 15. Episode 16. Shane, dude, so last time we had Bebop and Rocksteady. Yeah. Uh, they had to go on their little grocery shopping list, but and at the end of the day, this, this Region X is mm -hmm. the, the focal point of this serum mind control yeah, serum. That seems to be obviously the high, the, the hardest to acquire, the hardest to produce. Um, that's that's what's needed, and he's using it for his daughter. How did Stockman come up with this? Now, I'm assuming it was Stockman's <laughs> brain that came up with this, but weren't they talking about the fact that he didn't have really the equipment or any of the necessary things he needed there. That's what the turtle said. Maybe he does. I mean, Shredder now has more and more resources than he ever did. So but you know what I like about the show, and like, I, no one's pointed this out, and I don't think people think this is Mario. The case. Mario. Just kidding, man. Just kidding, Mario. We love your comments, man. Yeah. I think sometimes I feel like I'm like overly critical, like nitpicking the show, but it's not because I don't like it. I love this show, but I think it just shows how good the writing is that we can sit there and yeah if we were just sitting there with nothing to talk about with it yeah i would be worried yeah but, so here's the thing it's like you like the material so much and they elevated it to a point to where you allow yourself to think about it more critically instead of just like submitting to the show and right. riding it like a roller coaster then getting off when it's over you can actually intellectually participate kind of so when you have high highs and you have great characters and sometimes it does make you be critical of certain things that just certain things that you wouldn't have thought of before if you didn't care about the show as much right so i agree the same thing with like the baxter stockman thing i mean for donnie to look under a microscope and see that oh this has my control stuff in it <laughs> you know like whatever yeah. it's just the idea is that he's smart he knows and kids who watch it they're going to believe it and that's what matters like donnie's smart baxter's smart if they say if they say something then it means they're right the show's literally getting, for me, Yeah, it's literally getting better. And I even enjoyed the one-off season out in the farm where they were kind of regrouping a little bit. I, I liked it. I, I liked it too, and I'm going to look back on it probably pretty fondly. Especially because we'll be in, I imagine we'll be in New York for the next two and a half, three seasons. So you might kind of start to miss the farm, you know? Right. It's such a beautiful thing because of the first movie, which we got. We're going to react to that uh, Mutant Mayhem movie today. But we need to get you to react to that first movie. Yeah. I mean, it's one of my just favorite movies ever. Ever? Like any movie ever? Top five, yeah. If I could only pick one Star Wars movie. Now, even if I had as many Star Wars movies as I want in there, I'd probably say Revenge of the Last Samurai, Revenge of the Sith, Ninja Turtles, what was that movie Stand By Me. About with Brad Pitt and that, that period piece, like post-Civil War or whatever that you keep talking about. It's called Legends of the Fall. Yeah. So that's a, what's called a historical epic family drama and i think it is one of my favorite ones ever certainly a top 25. as i got older i didn't want to go oh that movie i liked when i was 14 i was obsessed with i hate it now because i'm an adult and i could think no i don't do that i, I go no i loved it because i loved it or what it did for me at that time there are better movies than ninja turtles but you know what just because shawshank redemption is amazing doesn't mean i want to watch it more than once a year <laughs> right. like i've never seen schindler's list i heard that it's amazing but you don't really want to watch it ever again I was just at that place where they filmed Shawshank in Ohio. Okay. I was just there like last month. Really? I've never been there before and I went to the Mansfield. I forgot it was even in Ohio. It's not, yeah, it's like a couple hours from here. Yeah. Other side of Columbus. So Ninja Turtles is multi-generational and it started with basically the generation kind of before me. Like I was, when I was a kid, I, it was kind of becoming less popular when I was like loving it. When was the first one? Like early 80s? The very first Ninja Turtle movie came out in, I thought it was 1990. 1990, pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, and then the second one came out in 91, and it came out less than a year later. So there was a very fast turnaround. Like even the shows? Like the first iteration? So the cartoon series came out in 1986 or 7. Okay. Uh, and that went on for uh, 10 seasons. So I watched it till 97. I only remember like the last season. I had some VHSs of like, you know, you know how they release VHSs of like random parts. You know, I had a few of those. Uh, so, you know, for the, the Army of Two is still better than Gears of War. Mm. No, you're wrong. Let's jump in. Docks. Why are the deals always going down by the docks? I don't know. <gasps> the infamous Slash. Not very stealthy for a ninja. Where I lack in stealth, I make up for in friends. Meet the mighty mutants. More freaks! Blast them! Hold still, you stinky little. I 
Ooh. Good thing that was the non-lethal one. Yeah. Leatherhead's great. Jeez. Imagine that kept going. <laughs> That's terrible. Now, when it comes to Leatherhead, I think you'd have a harder time with him. One more step, and we find out if all monkeys go to heaven. <laughs> you will be of great use to him. <laughs> That's not good. You're not going to be able to drive down the street for very long with that thing. I've said it once, I've said it twice, and I'll say it again. Yeah. I love Tiger Claw. To me, he is one of the coolest characters in the show. Frognard says enough! <laughs> <laughs> they must obey me, just as you will. <laughs> you that is disturbing. Get him, Grah. Remember, kids. I guarantee He Man's gonna be banging her brains out after this. <laughs> how the cartoons we watch are kind of just like our missions the mind control stuff yep yeah i know what our next one should be shredder why don't we take him down once and four oh because of that impulsive over emotional state right there who are you calling impulsive and over emotional i'd go more with hot-headed <laughs> hot-headed is from the original cartoon Turtles! Are you okay? I bring dire news. Slash and Rockwell have been captured by Tiger Claw. He said they could be of use to him. I'll give you one guess who him is. I have no idea who you're talking about. Shredder! <laughs> oh, not Pigeon Pete! <laughs> wow! Is that a real Space Heroes pinball machine? What's up with this hat? If you ask me, we got better than Brett. It kind of reminds me of those World War One carrier pigeons or something. Ooh. Yep. That's. I think that's like the same thing that happened to Mikey when he had pizza the first time. Like the fireworks. Why couldn't Tiger Claw take him instead? Hey, I'm not crazy about Slash, but the Mutanimals are our friends, and we're gonna rescue them. What if he's gonna test the mind control on Slash? You found the chemical. When have I failed you, Shredder? This is the last ingredient I needed to finish the formula that will give you complete control over her. Before you give it to Karai, test it on the two mutants. Brilliant, sir! Prepare uh. yourselves, my willing subjects. Willing? Uh, what are you gonna do to us? Wouldn't that be awful? I'd just like to clarify that we're not willing. The serum must be administered directly to your brains. And I have just the creatures to perform the tasks. Observe, my little worm friends. <laughs> oh my god. This show. Don't do this. Don't do what I think they're going to do. I mean it. Okay, maybe they're not going to show it. Show it. You need a recon flyby? I'm the fur man for the job. Pigeon pizza job! <laughs> yeah, you know they're going to be my control now. Yeah, yeah. So there he stabbed someone. Yeah. Gotta get him back to the lair, guys. Nope, don't wanna do that. Yeah, no. Your escape was very fortuitous. Shredder is not one easily eluded. Oh, we're just glad you two are okay. Are you sure? Because something seems off about you two. Uh, they did do something to us. He had these strange little worm creatures and then... Let me get you some water. Water? <laughs> Splinter! How could you, Slash? Splinter must be destroyed! 
you'll never hurt Sensei again. Yeah. 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 Whoa, that was cool, that was dude. Cool. Oh, I forgot about that. Don't make me hurt you, Slash. Don't make me laugh, monster. Dude, that would hurt. I don't know what's come over you, Doc, but snap out of it! <laughs> Why are you doing this? He's mind controlled. Oh no, the pinball machine. Better desires one of the turtles. Really? Rockwell, fall back! He would tear through that gate. I will survive. You must save your brother. Go! Yeah, I'm not gonna go now. <laughs> the shell razor's fully operational. Let's go! I thought the shell razor was converted to the party wagon, but I guess not. That's close enough, turtle. Getting the banana on Mario Kart. Oh, God, it's the worst. Where am I? Slash! Rockwell! Snap out of it! Nope! With my mind control serum coursing through their brains, resistance is futile! We're gonna see it now. Look at that. Okay, that is disgusting. Oh man. Oh, do you know it's going in his eyeball and shit, right? these, you know, 13th century catacombs. Yeah. Enough. It's Raph! Raph, do it! End this! Raphael is mine now to control. As are your other mutant friends. Let us welcome you properly. What? Not good. Raph, <laughs> snap out of it, man! Shredder's the enemy! You are the enemy! Let us see what my new servants can do. You did flash! I'll be flyboy! <laughs> Slash. Not anymore! Oh. Ooh, the delicious. He disgusts me. Yeah, it's just, just terrible. I hate flies. Hey! Watch the mandibles, you jerk! Rap, you've got to break Shredder's control! This isn't you! Where's that crazy temper? Break free, you jerk! <laughs> What a great looking fight. Yeah. Oh, dude. You can't feel emotion because you're Shredder's puppet. As a matter of fact, I'll bet you like doing whatever Shredder tells you. You probably love it. How's it going, brother? Stockman, what is going on? make me slap myself. Ow! If you had a brain to go with your powers, you might actually ow, be smarter than a gibbering baboon! Ow! Oh, Dude, kill that thing immediately. Right. I hate their feet! Sorry about the insults, Doc. Now blast that worm on a slash! Turtles 
Nutanimals? Get him! Dude, he's crazy. <laughs> Dude, I love it. I think he's too quick to get something like that to fall on him. Right. Nice. I could see everything that was happening, but I couldn't control my actions. Please, forgive me. There is nothing to forgive, my friend. This was Shredder's doing. Your mind was not your own. Those worms must have programmed you two like sleeper agents. All I know is that those worms were nasty, and it's awesome to have you guys back. Thanks, little brother. But we owe it all to Leo. Every team needs an impulsive, loud-mouthed, super-violent hothead, right? Uh... You're the best, bro. Okay, all right, all right. What a great episode. That was a man. great one, man. Wasn't that a good one? <laughs> Shredder at the end. You always loved when I did that too. When it was I, when it was legitimate. Yeah, I did. Like I like that. It's consistent with them. And I feel like Shredder's being written to be a little, just a little more intimidating than he, you know, like just a little more, just like a little more to him. Starting with that episode where Casey Jones goes and he like holds him down and there's like a three or four second pause and, and in this episode as well You just like elevating him a lot as a fighter so much to where he is like, you know, him and Splinter are at the top He just took and that, on and they should be all the turtles and Slash mm -hmm. I mean him and Splinter were like by far the best fighters, you know, like when you watch All I got to say is you, we got to watch that first movie <laughs> Uh, there's so much justice done to Shredder in this show, I feel like. Okay, so the big thing with Scale Away, the worms, man. These. Fucking worms, Tom. <laughs> I think the show, I don't know why they chose to spare us. Maybe something to do with the ratings. Because they've shown us some pretty disgusting things. And I'm like, well, how do they get away with that on a kid's show? Because they're always thinking about, they're always thinking about that. Right. Maybe they had like an original scene where it's like going in their eye and they're like screaming. They probably thought that was a little too, a little too terrifying. Well, I'm reading a lot of the comments that that these guys, which thank you for that by the way, no spoilers being so though. Engaged. Yeah. Reading some of the comments, it sounds like there have been multiple scenes over multiple episodes over multiple seasons that they had originally had something in mind and they've had to revamp it because it was just too dark for this. Okay. Yeah. I believe it, and I, I and I think it's dark as it is, you know? It's been really great, it hasn't disappointed me in any way. Um, the worm stuff, the mind control thing, I mean, yeah, the mind control is always, it's always kind of like a cartoony plot, but I'm fine with it, it's a cartoon. Yeah. It's fuck, you know, whatever. Uh, and, and it led to a really good uh, fight at the end, where we great. had Doctor Whoever, and then, of course, Slash. Right. And they're formidable as hell. Uh, and it led to an awesome fight, and obviously the encounter with Shredder. Is it Rockwell? Rockwell, yeah. yeah. And the fight with Shredder, like you said, was freaking badass. I'm trying to put myself in Raph's shoes, waking up, mm -hmm. being strapped to a cold metal table and seeing that warm thing. And like you said, presumably it bored its way into his eye. Yeah, or nose, but now I think eye's much worse. Wouldn't, I'm just, I'm trying to imagine how terrible that would be. It'd be terrible because like going in, you'd be screaming, but then you'd start feeling going up and you'd be like, ah, you'd be thinking about it, like trying to like do anything you can, but you wouldn't be able to do anything. Yeah, it's awful. It's fucking awful. Now, sometimes I think like when the plot demands that they capture a turtle sometimes i think it's a little too easy you know one little thing that i caught here and we've talked about this before and i maybe i'm partial because mikey's my favorite when they go back to the lair towards the beginning of the episode and mikey's like something seems off with these guys yeah like, no one else said anything and he's like something's you're right something's up with these guys like even splinter mm -hmm. didn't like catch on that something was wrong he's like it was fortuitous that you guys were able to escape no, you're absolutely right. I, I did notice that. They didn't elaborate any more than just Michael, Mikey. But that's been being... multiple episodes that Mikey's pointed out that something was wrong and no one else caught it. Yeah. Sometimes they, they straight up disagree. Raphael 
you know, kind of taking up the shredder, whatever those things are. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure in the Ninja Turtle ID, IDW comic, it might be Leo, but one of the turtles, they turn bad. And they, they join Shredder for like a year or something like that. It's like, I guess, and he has like a black mask. It's really badass. I just have seen pictures. I don't really know much about the story. I have like the first four volumes. I've only read like a little bit of the first one. But I loved it. I actually thought there might have been like a multiple episode of Arc where Raphael was a bad guy. But they kind of wrapped it up by the end of the episode. Right. Yeah. So the mind control thing, it's out there. We know it works. It has um, a flaw now. It has a flaw. I'm hoping they don't just discard it. Like, oh, it's, you know, because sometimes in a cartoon, like, they'll think of this plan that almost works and then it doesn't work and they don't do it again. They just do a new plan. Like When all they need to do is tailor the plan a little bit. Yeah, like I, I would tweak it to where you ingest it as like a liquid, not like have this worm thing crawl. Something that can be puked back out, but like... They needed something to crawl into the brain, but yeah, once... It's weird because they said they needed the worm to administer it, but once the worm is crawling around in there and it's infected your brain, you figured it wouldn't matter. You wouldn't need the worm anymore. Right. I mean, the worm was just a device for the plot to, A, to disgust us, and B, to, like, purge themselves of the mind-controlled substance. I think the, the writers did such a good job with the show of making, like, disgusting, almost adult-themed th dark things, but making it appropriate for kids. Yeah, I mean, I think it's on the line, but it's, yeah, it's it's pretty wild. I, I, I like it. I don't like that shit. I don't seek it out. I don't like scary movies, but it's, this is enough for me. Like, this is scary enough for me <laughs> right yeah. here, yeah. Oh, also, the party wagon, the shell razor. I was ignorant. No thinking, just stupid. I thought the shell razor was converted to the party wagon. And the party wagon is kind of a lot more visually consistent with the original Ninja Turtle party wagon design from the 90, from the 80s and 90s. Right. But they have two of them. That's pretty cool. Anyways, other than that, I think that's all we got, guys. If you want to support us, check us out on Patreon or check out our merch. See you next week.